Hello. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm at Sheffield Station. I took that train up from, from London, and today we're here to ride the Sheffield Super Tram. But not just any tram line, rather they're England's only tram train. So without any further ado, here's some history, and, and I'll see you in downtown Sheffield. The history of the Sheffield Super Tram dates back to the 1960s, when the 19th century Sheffield Tramway system closed down, in common with many other British cities. This was done to, due to the frankly idiotic argument that buses could better serve the city and surrounding areas. However, unlike uh, America and like many other cities in the UK, Sheffield soon realized that maybe having no trams was not great. So, in the mid-1980s, planning be began for a brand new tram network for Sheffield, and unlike the last one, this would be more of what my American view viewers would call a light rail network. In the early 1990s, construction began to convert a former heavy rail line into the first line of the Supertram net network, running out to Meadowhall. At first, the new Supertram system was kind of a failure, as it was more expensive and less frequent than bu buses, and hence people didn't really use it. This was worsened in 1997 when, because this is the UK, the system was privatized. Seriously, it seems like every transit thing in the UK was ruined by some form of privatization. Plans were drawn up for expansions further into South Yorkshire, but these never came to fruition, and its official name of South Yorkshire Supertram is a bit misleading. Passenger numbers had increased a, a bit, but by the mid-2010s, the system was still a fairly mediocre and run-of-the-middle British tram system. That is, until 2018, when England's first tram train opened. Running from Sheffield City Centre along the already excellent Yellow Line to Meadowhall South, it then used national rail trackage to extend into Roth Tram. This new tram train made Sheffield's system unique in the UK and allowed for some interurban style connections, albeit less than in pre previous plans. Just a couple months ago, in 2024, the system finally returned to public o ownership and is now owned and operated by the South Yorkshire government. But is England's only tram train any good, or is Sheffield's system still in need of improvement? Let's get on board and find out. Hello, I've made it to the uh, Sheffield Cathedral, which is where the tram train starts. Uh, this is one one of the norm normal trams. These are built by CMG uh, Wag. Uh, they're like 20 something of these, and then there's seven of the tram trains, which can of course run on the Nash and a rail network. So uh, once that sign ro rotates, oh, oh, it just passed, but the, um, the tram should be leaving in just a couple minutes. I, I tried to buy tickets at the uh, Sheffield interchange thingy, but um, it didn't, it, like the machine didn't want to let me have a ticket unless I had a smart card and I don't have a smart card. And then I needed to have uh, I bit or seven, seven day or 20 and eight day pass if I was buying a new smart card. So uh, yeah, I didn't do do that. And I instead I'm gonna pay on the tram because apparently, apparently you can do, do that. Um, there are all these ads for the app, but the app is not working on my phone. So yeah, I can try scanning the QR code there. Um, that, that might work. Anyway, I'll see you bored in the tram. Alrighty, we are leaving Cathedral, Cathedral on the tram train. I've got this uh, tram pass thing, which I might have to blur out. Um, this is the tram train service to Parkgate. The next stop by request will be Castle Square. And yet the announcements have, have a great north northern accent. Um, one fun thing that these are like branded as Voslov because these trains were built by Voslov before they got bought by Stadler. So yeah. Tram train, we're heading up. Uh, we're at Castle Square now, which is sort of to like the center of she Sheffield, and uh, I'll see you after, after we leave this like downtown tram tramway bit. All right, so we just crossed on the cool bridge, and now this is really in interesting. This is an intricate junction, but it's actually separated from the uh, uh, outside area. This, this reminds me a lot of the um, the, the Hudson Bird and Light Rail in this uh, aspect. And now we're on a fully separate ride, right, which we will then remain on for the, the rest of the trip. So, um, yeah, I think it's sort of impressive that so much of the ride way is separated, but also good. Um, so yeah, 
So I didn't exactly get enough sleep the night before I filmed this, uh, and the train didn't have any food on the way up to she Sheffield, so my clips from here to my first stop where I got off the tram train were uh, a little bit inco incoherent, but basically it's just cool that uh, they have re repurposed -re the ride, did the way like this, it, it's very much in the same vein as like a modern US light rail system or like an inch urban style system. And now I'll see you at Valley Sense Entertainment, which I got got off at because it looked like it might have some good foaming opportunities, but it was actually just a um, suspiciously dead mall. Welcome to Valley Entertainment. So yeah, let's phone his train. So Valley Sand Entertainment Station was perfectly fine. The mall was uh, a bit dead. It was kind of like a dead American mall, but like less cre creepy. And also one very weird thing: there were some, uh, in in the words of Jet Lag, the game transit oriented children. Uh, there's a school trip going on a field trip to a dead mall. I don't know if that's a normal thing in the U UK, but like, um, why? But as weird as it may be to go on a field trip to a dead mall, uh, that is a massive W for taking transit. So yeah. Uh, now I'll see you on the tram train heading out to Rotherham. Alright, we're, leave, we're leaving Valency Set Entertainment. From here, here I let me just spread too much more of the same. So I'll see you uh, after we split off onto our own separate track near uh, Med to All South. Right, we just left um, Med, Med to All South uh, and we are now branching off onto our new list. So this is the junction, and we're now branching off onto our own little um, section. This is a very tight turn that we take, and then we're taking this line, which I think we don't merge with the National Rail Line until near Roth. But also, you'll know the single, single track starts right over here, uh, and I think we're, we're waiting for the switch, 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 switch to change. So. Yeah, uh, we're now on, on our own lid to this section, and I'll see you just before Rod Thrive Central, where we merge onto the Nash and Rail uh, tracks. So yeah, see you there. So I forgot to film the merge onto the National Rail Line. Uh, it it wasn't that 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 cool. We just waited for a long time for a Northern train, and then mer merged on uh, right af af after it. So here is Rod from Parkgate. All right, well, welcome to Rod and Park It is 10.29 and the train leaves, that, the tram leaves back at 10.31. Um, this appears to be like more of a backside of a mall than uh, Valley Sun Entertainment even, but I, I think the mall is slightly more alive. Um, but yeah, I have the tram pass, so I'm just gonna hop right back on and head back to Rod and Sen Central. So yeah, uh, this is technically not a tram train bit because that those those the two northern tracks and this is our track. Um, so yeah, Park Gate. Uh, it's transit oriented suburbia, kind of, but not really. So yeah, and we're leaving Rod from Park Gate. Now uh, we're about to merge back onto the Nash and Royal tracks and become a tram train again. This is the tram train service to sure is. Cathedral. The next stop by request will be Rotherham Central. And we will be getting off at Rotherham Central and uh, foaming because it's oh, yeah. so cool that this is a legitimate bone if I tram train. Um, so yeah, I'll see you at Rotherham Central. Welcome. Central. Uh, let's phone his train as it leaves, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the tram train service as a whole. Alrighty, so Rod and Central, as you can see, there there's a low level platform and then a high level platform. <laughs> platform. So, um. My northern train, which I, I booked myself on the 10.50, it's 10.35 now, 
um, because I wanted to foam more trains, but it's unclear if it's canceled or not. So yeah, I don't, don't we love you UK railways? We, we do. It, it's great. Anyway, um, Chef Sheffield Sub tram, tram, tram train. It's very cool that it exists. Um, but there are two things that are like, eh, uh, about it. Like the free, 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 free. Okay, I didn't say how bad the free Gwindy was. It's every 30 minutes. That is terrible. I know that some of my American viewers might think London is the only real city in the UK. It is not. Sheffield is quite big, and this goes into Sheffield and is just an extension of the tram line that happens to run on a little bit of, of the National Rail Network. I get the coordinating between agencies is hard, but it's such a short distance. Running every 30 minutes and blaming it on that is crazy. Um, so, while it is a cool line, I really think that this hinders its potential, and South York, Yorkshire, get on that. Come on. I know that you have to work around National Rail schedules, but still, come on. Like, I'm sure there's a way to boost it a bit, even, even every 2020 would be better. Secondly, uh, feels like kind of a missed opportunity to not have it run more on National Rail tracks. Maybe there is, there is a, a reason for that. I am by no means an expert on she Sheffield, but it does kind of feel like that is a missed opportunity. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Um, but like, because like, I'm not an expert on Sheffield. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the uh, South Yorkshire Yorkshire Super Tram Tram Train or the Sheffield Super Tram Tram Train. Um, yeah. And uh, now I'll leave you with a foamer shot, which hopefully, hopefully means I don't get stuck here. Uh, I'm gonna go see if there's a take get off this that I, I can ask at. So I'm yeah, on the old train. I'm on a class 150 Sprinter. Uh, I've never been on one none of these, and uh, they're they're great. Have the class has like fun any super loud sprinter engine rev. Um, so I was gonna wait for the 1058, but it's very unclear if it's canceled or not. And uh, if it was canceled, then I would have missed my train from Sheffield. So I just spent two pounds buying a ticket last se second to get it, it, it on this train, and then I'll just have a, bu a bunch of extra time in Sheffield. So yeah. Uh, with that, thing, thank you very, very much for, for watching England's only tram train. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.